Hi guys, back in the car again. Uh, I'm going to do another how-to today on showing you how to uh, remove your centre console. Uh, I'm going to paint mine because um, one thing I've always hated is the, the silver big bit in the middle of the dashboard and also because I fitted a, um, a single din head unit the colour of the, um, the, the the doubled adapter doesn't quite match and it looks a bit naff really so I'm going to show you today how to take it out um, I'm not really going to show you how to paint it because everyone knows how to paint stuff uh, and then refitting really just put it back in again um, the other cool thing to show you is that I've got my uh, my Recaro's fitted now um, these Recaro's are from a, um, a Cord Type R and the rails have been modified to fit, to, to fit the uh, EP3 they're really really good seats the only <laughs> Only downside is you can't get in the back anymore um, because they don't tilt forward like uh, like the standard seats do, which is a little bit annoying. Um, but they look really, really cool, really badass. So and and they sit a lot lower than the standard EP3 seats as well. So um, first things first, you just need to start popping some bits off. So I'm going to show you that now. Okay. So here's your centre console. Um, as you can see, there's a colour difference between the standard centre console and the doubled in adapter, and it just looks a bit naff. I don't really like it at all. So um, first things first. Quite straightforward you get these knobs and you give them a good pull and they just pop off dead simple so start putting them to one side one and two and three um, the other bit you need to remove is your cigarette lighter pop that out Ooh, just around the floor and also if you've got a, a head unit just pull your front of your head unit off and your front fascia part of the head unit off okay uh, the next bit you're going to start need some tools so um, first thing to do is take the lock nut off your gear knob um, which I'm pretty sure is a 14 mil so I'm going to give that a go now so this was pretty simple you undo the lock nut so uh, put your 14 mil on um, you might need to hold the gear knob at the same time and then just give it a give it a turn and uh, it will undo and you can unscrew your gear knob so I'm just going to do that because I've got to hold on to it at the same time there we go, lock nut undone, and so you can just unscrew your gear knob anti-clockwise, it's got quite a lot of thread, and put that to one side, and then just undo your lock nut at the same time. Um, next bit is pretty straightforward. What you've got to do is kind of get your hand in around here somewhere, and just give your fascia a pull. So that will unclip from the bottom, um, then it uh, pulls out of the top, and you need to obviously undo your hazard light switch when you pull it out, so I'm just going to pull that out now. There you go. So when you pull it out, you'll have your hazard light switch, which is here, and your cigarette lighter, which is here. So you just need to uh, to unplug those. All right. Once you've taken the fascia off, this is the back of it. Um, obviously, we're going to have to dismantle this to, to paint it. So your hazard light is held in by two screws here, Ooh, not a red ball. Um, and uh, your your cigarette light is actually held in by two little plastic lock tabs, which are kind of hard to see, um, but you just push them in and it should come out from the front and then the gear gate is actually held in with these three screws here so quite straightforward so I'm just going to strip that apart now um, and it's one job done for later okay next thing is you've got some Phillips screws hiding in here and one over here which I've uh, already taken out all right so they're quite simple just uh, get those off and undone now once you've undone those screws um, I'm just turn my off. you basically get your hand in here and give it a bit of a pull and the unit should pretty much pop out um, now because I've been in here before um, down behind there's normally two very small very awkward to get to 8mm bolts back there but I've actually left them out last time because they were just a pain in the ass to get in and out so so yeah your whole unit will, will lift out pretty straightforward obviously you've got some wiring on the back you need to take care of so just unplug all the plugs you see back there and uh, you'll be able to pull the whole unit out now once you've got your unit out you'll see there's screws holding in the cage for the stereo um, either side there's screws holding in the uh, control unit for the um, heater blowers and there's uh, screws holding in the control unit down here for the aircon switches and stuff like that as well so you just need to basically start taking all those off top tip is when you take something out um, put the screw back in the hole just so you know where it goes for future reference because otherwise you'll end up having a pile of screws and they're all some of them slightly different so it's worthwhile just uh, putting them all back in the right places so here it is I've got one fully removed centre console um, what I've done is I've screwed back in on the back the cage um, to hold in the um, the stereo uh, part to keep it there easy to be painted so what I'm actually going to do now is drop this off at a uh, at my paint shop because I don't really want to paint it myself, I want it looking good. So I'm going to drop this off in a couple of days, should have it back in nice gloss black and then uh, I'll have a go at refitting it. Okay, so I just got back from the bonnet shop, I've been picked up the uh, the centre console. Uh, I've had it painted gloss black, it looks really nice. 
So just gonna unwrap that, show you how it all uh, how it looks, and then um, start putting it back in. So here's the door pieces. They're looking really nice. All painted gloss black. Um, just gonna fit those straight back in now, and they're they're pretty simple. Um, they just pop straight back in. So you put the uh, the, the top in first. There's a little little lug uh, there, and then the bottom just clicks in in place. Nice and simple. Yeah, I think you'd agree. They look quite nice. Um, the only thing is, I might have to uh, get get these painted black now because it looks a bit too silver. So. Might be job for another day. Anyway, I'll open up the uh, the center console now. There we go. Looking really nice. All painted up in gloss. That looked really, really good when it's back in and all fitted together. So, uh, but that is a job for another day. So, I'll wrap it all up again now, and uh, then hopefully I'll be able to show you putting it all back together again. Hi guys. Right. So I'm back in the car. This is the mess I'm currently left with, and uh, I've got the uh, the new center console. Um, a bits to uh, put it all back together again as well so gonna get started um, obviously just assembling all the bits back together the same way you took them apart so if you do that you shouldn't really go far wrong uh, but I'll, I'll show you as you go through just clicking a few bits back together okay start with the easy bits first this is the uh, the control for the uh, for the blowers uh, and this is your control panel for your aircon slash reheated wrist screen um, two screws nice and simple three screws uh, one on this side and one over here and one over here nice and simple and uh, just screw this back on in place don't worry about the front for a minute it's got on this on this part you put that back together when you're when you're putting it back in the car so uh next bit to fit is the the cage um that sits on the back of this unit okay that's the mounting cage reattached so four screws here one two and here where's my finger hey uh here one two so nice and simple uh, mine's got my dab unit already attached to it so i've got a, a dab head unit and then all you need to do is um slide your head unit back in from the front and clip that back in place uh and then you're almost ready to go back in apart from your air vents which i'll, I'll put back in now there you go air vents all reattached uh now you can start plugging it all back in so um start by putting the top uh into uh into the locating holes uh and then once you've reattached all the wires you just push the base back in um, so it's all firm in there are two bolts uh, here which are supposed to bolt back in one on this side one on the other side but I don't bother um, they don't really add any points so just leave them out there we go click back into place looks really really nice looks a lot better than the uh, than the standard silver um, now I've got to do is click the, um, the the things back in here for the blowers uh, and then I can start reassembling the the bottom half so the lower section is pretty simple. Um, this section, this hole is for your hazard lights. Uh, this side is for your cigarette lighter, which I'm not going to bother putting back in because I've got an idea for that. So I'm going to leave that open for a minute. And then this one's for your gear gator. Um, I've bought a new gear gator to to match my steering wheel, or tried to. Um, it was a bit of a pig to get in, uh, but it's uh, supposed to be Alcantara with red stitching to match my steering wheel. Mm, I don't know, but I think it looks better than the standard rubber one. Um, so the idea is just poke the through and screw the uh, screw the screws back on so there you go one nice uh, black lower section with my uh, new gear gator attached and the hazard light switch back in and so i'm just gonna leave the um the cigarette lighter uh, open for a minute because i've got a bit of an idea and i'm gonna have a bit of a fiddle around with that um so nice and simple um to reconnect your electrics in behind so you hazard light switch button and cigarette light if you're putting it back in and then just kind of put your uh, gear knob um get your back over the gear knob push it back in on the top two tabs and then click it back in on the bottom two tabs and that'll go back together. So there we go, 99% back together. Uh, just got the last couple of little bits. So so normally you just click your uh, your plastic knobs back on the end of here. Uh, I picked up these. These are supposedly uh, a, a JDM option. Don't know if that's true or not, uh, but they're like little bottle cap knobs. Um, they're perfectly designed for the EP3 uh, and they just push on uh, in place of your normal knobs. So you just line up the little slot on the back and push them on and they just add a bit more uh, bit more bling to the center, center console quite like those um yeah they go quite nicely against the uh against the new piano black i thought it looked pretty good i also picked up this pretty neat uh neo chrome skunk 2 gear knob really really weighty really nice weight to it uh i thought it worked nicely with the short shifter and you know just add a bit more um bling to the interior without going crazy um goes nicely with my uh, new neochrome gear uh, nuts on my wheels as well so um just screw it back on the same way the old one with the new they even got a neochrome lock nut look at that um so it just screws straight back on okay so all back together new knobs on new gear knob new gear gator all looking really nice just going to uh turn the ignition on make sure everything works stereo's coming on 
as the lights are working. Heat screen, aircon, controls, aircon, circulation button, temperature gauge, and lovely. Everything all working as it should and looking a lot, lot prettier. Thanks for watching again, guys. Uh, hopefully, that uh, informed you. Uh, everything you need to do to fit a new uh, centre console. Uh, thanks for subscribing, really appreciate it. Uh, I'll be back next week with a, a bit of an update to the interior. Uh, I had to get rid of my uh, my Accord Recaros um, because they just weren't working, couldn't access the back. But mm -hmm, I've got a new update and uh, I'll share it with you uh, when, as soon as I can. All right, thanks very much.